Hey, I'm Brad Savage. My partner and I have a company here in North Hollywood called Bandwagon Media. I have a long, confusing path that led me to where I am today. Starting when I was a child, I was an actor. I had a bunch of Disney movies. Here's my hall of shame behind me. The last film I did was a movie called Red Dawn in the early 80s. And then I transitioned into working in production on reality shows and game shows and things like that for a few years. And then I got into editing and I started cutting movie trailers. Got to work on a bunch of different you know, crazy projects through the years. And then through that, I started getting back into production with my partner, Greg Grunberg. I'm Greg Grunberg. I'm an actor. I've been an actor for over 30 years. Brad and I have known each other for most of those 30 years and uh, the last almost 20 years we've been producing content, big and small. We really do work in all different types of media. We've done comedy shows, we do podcasts, we do obviously music, we do live events, we stream, we shoot a ton of commercials in the space we're doing right now. This is a real bar, I'm not gonna lie. We've done a lot of drinking here at the bar. So Bandwagon Media, I think the name of our company is pretty appropriate because we're constantly wanting people to jump on this bandwagon. But it all started because we started a band together years ago called Band From TV. And it was me and Brad, Hugh Laurie, Bob Guinea, Scott Grimes, Adrian Pastar, with the intent of just playing Comic-Cons, playing corporate parties, and raising money for charity. We needed a place to rehearse. While that was happening, Brad and I were producing or hustling and pitching ideas and shooting commercials and starting our business. Brad was the crazy guy who said, you know what, let's buy a building, let's do this. And when you build it, they will come. We literally took shipping containers and we built the coolest office up there, deck. This is a podcast studio. This is a it's a it's a real recording studio, but you can have a live performance. And then this I've used I've been using as my office. I keep getting kicked out of places in the building because Brad now created a really great office, and then someone says, I want to rent that. <laughs> I want to be a partner. So we've got plans for uh, expanding, but right now we're busting at the seams creatively and we're loving it. The things that we're shooting right now, we need storage and we need it to not fail us. Depends on the project. If it's an interview kind of situation, it can be a lot, especially if you've got three or four cameras running at the same time. Especially if you're shooting in 4K or 6K or more, you definitely get into the terabytes. We're just going with it. I mean, it's such a crazy time in the industry right now that we found that it's best just to say yes to everything and then figure it out. Sometimes we have ideas and we're like, Screw it, let's just shoot that, let's go. But you need all the right tools to do it. You get out there and you, it just one thing leads to another, leads to another. So you need to be prepared, you need to have as much storage for the content as possible. And OWC's always been there for us. As an editor, I have always been very, very adamant about having multiple copies of data. So when I'm on a shoot, I'll be directing and I still am hovering over the DIT. You just can't burn a card these days without having at least two backups. I, usually insist on three because I've had it happen. It wasn't an OWC drive, but I've had a drive just die on me and it's the worst thing ever. Not only do you lose time and money, but you lose the magic that you created that moment. So I learned early on that, you know, basically just gotta have reliable backup for all the stuff that you're doing and then also for cutting. So over the years, you know, we've gone from spinning disks to the SSDs and it's been a game changer for us because first of all, reliability, but also the speed. It's everything when you're on set. You want everything to be as efficient as possible. Time is money and everything needs to work and work well. The drives these days, especially the OWC drives, are faster than your mind can think. You have enough stuff to worry about on the set or on the stage or in the editing day and to not have to worry about your gear, it's really important. The future for bandwagon is pretty great. All of my friends know that whatever they throw at us, we can handle. We're really excited about the stuff that we're working on right now. This place is so creative. There's so many great people that come and go, that rent from us, that co-produce with us, and we're ready for any opportunity. When there's a band involved, <laughs> there's a lot of celebrating. Let's take five again. So sometimes we wish it would take a lot longer to transfer that data, because that gives us more time to drink. You know, we are constantly coming up with ideas, and you're able to shoot things at the speed of thought. And we can only do that with OWC's help. You can't come up with a great idea and then go, well, but we don't have what we need. You guys give us what we need so that we can do whatever we want at any time. And then hopefully it'll lead to, to bigger and better things.